Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to just do a quick update and I want to show you guys uh, these eight Santa Fe reefer cars. Now these are built by uh, Intermountain and they sell for about, uh, I believe, $29.99 or $39.99 uh, new, ready to run. Um, but that, as you know, costs way too much for me because I am cheap, as you know, because I, I buy like branch line, Pullman heavyweight kits, etc. So yeah, I actually purchased these on average for about fifteen to sixteen dollars on Intermountain. They came as or from eBay, excuse me, uh, as kits. So if you didn't know, Intermountain sold these uh, as kits. Um, you know, like I think it was like over. I think it was, it was around ninety uh, parts, ninety to hundred parts per car, which is insane. And um, yeah, they sold them as kits. It came with, um, I don't think it came with couplers and it came with plastic wheels. Actually, maybe it did come with plastic couplers. Anyways, I upgraded all of these with KD couplers and metal wheels. Um, but anyways, uh, $15, $16, that's really cheap for some, you know a car that's as nice as this. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I made eight kits so far. I actually still have three left to make um, that I purchased. So and I'm, I'm gonna try purchasing a lot more because you know if you didn't know, Santa Fe had thousands of these cars. Um, in fact, I think at one point half of their entire freight car roster were, were the uh, were these famous uh, yellow reefers. Um, so yeah, um, what else should I say? So yeah, these. Let me just get get a close up for you guys. You could see um, all the detail besides there. There's like separately applied, uh, you know, grab bar, uh, you know, ladders, the little, uh, the little uh, hatches on top. There's like, you know, so for example, this little hatch area here consists of two uh, hinges, the door, the handle, the latch locking system, and then the board, the footboard piece itself. If, yeah, if you count that, it's like six pieces for just one little corner, and you multiply that by four. Plus, you get these little uh, handrails. So yeah, these kits are made up a l whole lot of parts. Um, but yeah, and um, one thing to actually differentiate, or just to, just a note, is that uh, Santa Fe basically Intermountain sold two eras, I guess you could say, of reefers. There's the one with the uh, the map, Santa Fe map. This was, um, I think. I think it was around like the 1930s to 1950s and then they soon all I know is that this was the future this was like the secondary later scheme which I believe was like 1948 or something like that sometime between 1946 and 1954 uh, they changed it to this logo which is ship and travel Santa Fe all the way I actually prefer the map logo I think it looks a lot better but this is the more modern version so I actually do have one of these cars and the rest so far are the map slogans as you can see here um, but yeah, so these cars, I spent, I don't know, like five to 10 hours per car on average. Obviously the first few, uh, kits were, took more time. And then once I got used to them, um, I built them in like large batches, but yeah, uh, they're pretty nice cars and I highly recommend them. They are, uh, you can see there's a whole bunch of details on the, on the bottom. I'm, I apologize. My camera's on my phone. Yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, you can see that the piping's all separately applied. Is these little, um, you know, all this detail. So, yeah, they're really nice kits, and I highly recommend them, especially if you have a lot of time on your hand, like right now, during the coronavirus. I'd highly recommend you guys buy some of these kits and at least try them out for yourself. They are they make some really nice cars, and as you know, Santa Fe, they pulled, like, what, like 50 of these cars in one train at a time. I only have eight of these, as you see right now. I'm trying to get to at least 20 cars um to make like a decent looking train but yeah um really nice cars i highly recommend them and if you were you know on the on the edge decide trying to decide if you're gonna buy some highly recommend them and uh yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed and um yeah i hope you guys <laughs> excuse me uh if you have comment if you have any suggestions or, or questions and i'll see you next time guys bye